Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to our slowly growing realm in Manor Lords, where we took this empty patch of land and turned it into a teeming town full of life and vim before extending our reach into the neighboring region and establishing the settler's camp of Eisendorf. This too will slowly grow into a massive town, eventually a city, and Eisendorf will become perhaps Eisenstadt, as many of you suggested in the comments of the last couple of episodes. Love those ideas. But folks, before we get to that, there's a couple of issues we need to solve. For example, the rampant homelessness, the fact that everyone's starving, the fact that there's no firewood, and the fact that there are bandit camps in the area. Let's go ahead and take a look at where this bandit camp actually is. And if I'm lucky, which I'm not, it would have been a little bit closer to Eisendorf so that we could return its wealth to, uh, to a region that could very much use it. But hey, I'm not too bummed about its location because this means we can get our retinue raised. We don't have to, uh, you know, get our militia involved as we've got our retinue in place now. We can send it to take care of the brigands and uh, acquire that influence, acquire that wealth. But before I get into that, let's get into Eisendorf. There's a lot of work that needs doing over here, and I think we should establish some of that before we get distracted by these brigands. Uh, obviously, we already have our logging camp, we have our storehouse and our granary. We've also got this forager hut collecting these berries from this rich berry deposit, which is excellent uh, to start with. And uh, that's going to help keep things somewhat sustainable, though we will, of course, need a woodcutter's lodge to acquire the fuel for our people. We will also need a market, because otherwise the goods won't actually be distributed to our people, and we need to give them homes, right? Every family is homeless, and I'm hoping to solve that. Now, I could, if I wanted to, instead, upgrade the homeless people's tent into crude living space for five families. Contrary to burgage plots, they can't be upgraded or expanded, and they may actually cause a small loss of approval. This is ideal for outposts, for where we just care about, you know, acquiring that iron and nothing more. And that's not exactly how I want to lead Eisendorf. We're going to make this a proper city, like I said. So, we've got ourselves the logging camp, we've got ourselves a well... Uh, sorry, not the logging camp, but the uh, woodcutter's lodge underway. We've got the well underway as well. Uh, we're going to establish the town center over here. And I think as we kind of grow out from that center in concentric circles, we're simply going to go over the clay deposit. I don't think I have to mine it. And you'll see if I actually place or pretend to place, I suppose, burgage plots over the, uh, the clay deposit here, it's not going to stop us. So, you know, centuries from now, some lucky bloke is going to dig up a bunch of clay in his backyard and become a potter. That's not actually a mechanic in the game, just quite yet at least. I want to be clear, I don't want to mislead you, uh, just making a joke there, but we can go over this clay deposit, and honestly, it's a fairly small one, and if I need more clay, I can easily afford to import it here with our uh, massive, massive coffers uh, as far as regional wealth is concerned. Anyway, I digress yet again. Let's stay focused over here, folks. As I establish that central circle, where we're going to have our uh, church and our tavern, hopefully somewhere over here, as well as that key uh, market. So I'm going to try and make this circular. I'm not going to try too hard because uh, I want it to feel well a little rough, right? This is this is a small, small, not, not even a town. It's a, it's not even a village, really. Uh, and so just some early planning. It's okay for it to be a little rougher. And you know what, actually? This is oh, pretty good, actually. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Now, I have to be very wary of the fact that the small church is only small in name. It is actually a rather large structure. And if I'd like to get a tavern in this central uh, area as well, that's a fairly large structure, too. Do I think I have enough space in here? I think so. We also want to get a market, don't forget. And it might be a bunch of little markets that, you know, fill in the gaps between the buildings. That could look rather interesting, I think. But we do want to make sure we have enough space for at least one of each. And I think this should do the trick. Yeah, I'll be honest, this... <laughs> I wish it was a bit smoother, but I'm not going to undo the beauty that this is in order to make up for this. So let's go ahead and establish this... Uh, central circle like this yes i could reconnect back into into this so there's one road but what i think i'd rather do is have it be a bit wider over there and then open up into this full circle let's let's see what ends up happening um is that the right shape is that what i want just trying to check the the end over here yeah you know what close enough i like it 
you know what, that looks great. Even the, the rougher edge edges over here have smoothed out quite nicely now that the road is actually down. But this, oh my goodness, I'm quite pleased with this. I'm not going to lie. Uh, folks, if you're pleased with this series, if you would like to see it continue, if you'd like to see more Mana Lords on the channel, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel. It lets me know what I should do more or less of, how I should go about doing it. And I do read all of the comments. If you have any questions, suggestions, opinions, anything like that, let me know in the comments and I will address it in one way, shape, or form. Right now, just checking to make sure that I can fit all the structures that I want to fit. I think I can get the tavern, like, somewhere down here. I think I can get the church, you know, like, somewhere up over here, leaving a decent bit of room for the market there and here. Now, the question is, <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to put those down just so I can plan ahead. I think I'm going to put those down just so I can plan ahead. I'm going to put the church... Ah, oh, I can't because I don't have enough goods. Dang. I'd love to be able to plan this. I'd love to be able to plan this properly. So, okay, hang on. If I put the church like this, let's say, the furthest out the market would go is the edge of the well, and that's fine. And that should give me enough room. I'm literally using my finger to measure this, so this is going to be the most inaccurate measurement. Yeah, it looks like it gives me enough room to fit the tavern, like, down over here, perhaps, or or something. I mean, it could face a different direction, but I should be able to fit it, which means that our market can perhaps come, like, out like this. Let's try it. Let's try it, folks. If I do... Oh, I, I hope this works. I hope this works. Let's put the second point down over here. Let's put the third point down over here, and... Oh, interesting. You know what? Maybe I'll do this in two halves, actually. Just to keep, uh... Keep things clean. Is that the way I want to do it? Bit of a snap there. So why not? Here, let's do... Um... That... Six stall locations is actually not that much. What about the other side? Let's start with a bigger uh, bigger market, right? Um, let's go actually up to here. There you go, 18 locations. That's a bit more sustainable, I think. Oh, I hope I'm not making a mistake. And the other side will be up there. Oh, hang on. Have I actually wasted space? That's 18. Whereas this is 19. Okay, that's certainly better. So, sure. Let's pop you down there. These early commitments, man, they take... <laughs> they, 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 take they take a lot for me. Um, and the tavern will still fit. Yeah, we got, we got room. And again, we can add more markets, right? They all work together. So, okay, that's all well and good. We got a market. The berries will be sold here. Uh, eventually, the firewood will be sold here as well. But apart from all this, you know, I wouldn't mind having a trade post set up nice and early as well. But I don't think... Now, instead of the tavern, I could put a trade post here. Or could I put both? Oh, man. Taking some chances. Taking some chances. If I put you there, will I be able to fit the tavern? And if I can't, then that's okay. I might be able to? Nah, I don't think so. I'll probably encroach on the church. It's a matter of what I care. Well, I mean, again, the tavern could be like here, for example. You know, that works too. Or it can be like deeper into where the 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 uh, homes uh, extend into. Obviously, it doesn't have to be in the center. Sure. You know, I think the trade post in the middle makes a lot of sense. Right next to the market. Right next to the church. Maybe it's a good idea to have the tavern a bit further away. Uh, all right, fine. Where are we? Where is my trade post? And you'll see exactly why uh, I want to get the trade post up and running sooner rather than later. As soon as it is. Uh, up and running. Let's go ahead and pop you right over here, right up against the right up against the market. Now let's do a quick check to make sure our uh, church can still, in fact, fit. Looks like it can. Nicely over here, right up against the market and the, uh, the trade post. And you know what? We might be able to fit the tavern still. Might just. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll leave it at this for the time being. Let's go ahead and prioritize the woodcutter's lodge. So the trading post is, is it equally important. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, I think I think the trading post is more important. 
Let's do that. All right, fair enough. So that'll be good for us right now. Uh, housing will put down shortly after the trading post is done. I know that might sound like a backward order, but, uh, but trust me, this is going to be worth it, and I'll explain why as soon as uh, I get the chance to. Back at Edel's Ball, we have four unassigned families right now. Let's get a quick double check on the state of our fields. We are currently growing. We're currently growing. All right, all good. This is uh, also growing, and this is... It just started growing, right? Because uh, this is barley. All right, fair enough. Looks like our next harvest isn't registering right now. Maybe I need to play for a split second. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if it's looking between the two uh, uh, regions. Either way, we'll keep an eye on harvest times. To make sure the farmhouse gets its uh, families when needed. But for the time being, that means we have these four unassigned families. Let's go ahead and assign at least, I think, two over here so we can get some of these berries. Uh, the hunting camp needs what? Yeah, let's go ahead and get a family at the hunting camp. That's not what I meant. I meant that. Uh, and then what to do with our one last remaining unassigned family. We'll leave them unassigned, I'm thinking. Hopefully more people will move in soon. We we have the housing for them. Slowly getting additional chicken coops, right? Uh, these two already have chicken coops. We want a couple more chicken coops here as well once people actually move in. And these are just homes without any uh, extensions or anything like that, which is nice as well because, you know, sometimes it's nice to have a family that's not distracted by their backyards. That's a price we're paying with these large uh, vegetable uh, gardens where we... Uh, you know, where we have just the one family. Now, I could upgrade to tier 3, and then there'll be more families to, to, to manage the uh, the gardens, and that might not be a terrible idea. I've got, got the resources I need to get up to level 3. We've got the roof tiles and stuff. But again, my obstinance asks me to upgrade these buildings first and perhaps get things uh, in their backyards first as well. Hey, why don't we go ahead and upgrade this brewery, actually? Yeah, sure. Let's get you upgraded to level 3. Because I am trying to get to uh, 10 uh, level 3 burgage plots or higher. So I can acquire the uh, bakeries and actually get the bakeries going, right? Uh, these this, these were planned to be bakeries, all of them. So, uh, sure. Let's upgrade you. Let's get let's get, get this going. That should be good. We can get some of these level 1s upgraded to level 2 as well. Even back here, we can upgrade some of these. Eventually. Eventually, sure. Let's raise our retinue. 16 troops. I've got money to get a few more in there. Why not? Let's make these guys a little bit larger. And uh, you'll notice, by the way, this was mentioned in the uh, comments, that everyone kind of arms themselves. Uh, it was pointed out that I'm recruiting these men at arms, and so they're all getting the same equipment. No, the equipment is actually randomized, and it's to represent that these people are mostly arming and equipping themselves. Um, they have their own... Now, correct me on the history if I've got this wrong, but my understanding of it is that they all kind of have their own wealth with which they can acquire uh, some of their uh, some of their equipment. Uh, I imagine some of it is provided by, you know, the, the, the Lord, but I'm not sure to what extent. Um, I mean, I guess that's why we can get uh, upgrades and stuff like that. But yeah, that's why everyone kind of gets recruited and they have their own equipment, though sure, some of these guys, like I have these three that look fairly similarly armed, but, uh, you know, in theory, they could be differently armed as well. Uh, it's just, I think that's the luck of the draw that I've had. Anyway, uh, we can hire three units into our retinue. I think there's no reason not to do so. Just trying to figure out... I won't be expanding anytime too soon. We'll be getting some money from this bandit camp, so sure. Let's go ahead and recruit some additional men-at-arms. Good stuff. And you'll see each of those came through with their own equipment. Um, yeah, cool. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. Let's go ahead and rally the retinue. Bandit camp's up there. Yes, yeah, so let's rally them up to here. And we'll make our way over right away. Yeah. Let's go. There we are. Right, he's making his way over right through the uh, the woods again. It's great to see them. Look at that. I might actually get them all into uh, Party Elite colors. I've, I've, I've received at least a second in the comments of the... It was a previous episode or the episode prior, I forget now. But uh, I've received at least a second. <laughs> so that's uh, that's something maybe I'll do between sessions. Yeah, look at the level of detail. Like, the... the... I swear to God, it's like... <laughs> I, could be, I could be marching with... Oh, actually, hang on a second. No. No, where'd they go? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I guess I could be marching with them. Where are you? There they are. All right.
Where are my men? There they are. All right, here we go. Come on, men. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. And look at the visual fidelity. Like, it feels like the game could absolutely be played like this. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> With me, men. Slaughter these brigands once and for all. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, they look tired. Look, this is so. This is so cool. This is so cool. I shouldn't be distracted for too long. There's a. There's a starving. There's a starving Eisendorf waiting for my attention. All right, men. I wish you the best for our families. Charge forth. Let's send them. Over to deal with these brigands. That's 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 so cool. I can't believe. I can't believe I can do that in this game. All right. <laughs> you know what else I can do? I can actually take care of my people. What's going on? Trading post? Nothing. Where where we have one unassigned family here? That's not nearly enough. One at the granary to actually bring the berries over. One at the logging camp. None at the storehouse. That's one, two. I see. Right. We got two families over here. I need two families. I guess I could just make it the one. Make sure that construction is actually happening. All right. Because it does need to happen. Trading post is a high priority. We've got enough timber here. We got five. We need three more here. And plenty more coming here. No, not just quite yet. Where is my hitching post? I have one. Yes. Where's my ox? Where are my people? <laughs> Why are you cutting down these trees? Did I not assign them? I guess I didn't. That's fine though, it's close to... If I'm lucky, they'll just drag it from there to this construction site. I guess I forgot to assign this as the uh, the focus area, and that's fine actually. I do want to clear this tree out as well, and actually I think some of these shrubs are yeah purely cosmetic. Let's clean this up a little bit. There you go. That should, uh, that should help. I hope... Uh, uh, <laughs> I hope these uh, these guys uh, almost got myself demonetized there. Uh, I hope these guys draw a straight line down to here. And it looks like construction is progressing, which is great. I'm excited for this new town. I I'm excited for like these opportunities at new beginnings. You know, it's like okay, I learned from my first town. I don't have to start a new game to establish this new one differently. I've I've got it, and and, and it. It's going to play into the bigger story of uh, of this particular manor lord. You know? It is good. They're getting some work done while they're waiting for the resources to arrive. So at least it's not uh, at a standstill. The ox is actually using the road. So it must have determined that the road was faster up until there. And then it becomes faster to a straight line. I believe we have a stall being built as well. Yes, this, by the way, is constructed by the family that's actually running the stall. So I don't have to worry about that. But it's good to have that first uh, stall built. And this is just the second timber. It takes a long time. It takes a long time to move these goods back and forth. If you could just grab it from over here, it'd be a little bit faster and that'd be cool. Oh, we got some loose logs down over there. Why don't we go ahead and adjust the logging camp's uh, location really quickly to work. I mean, tiny area. On the one hand, it's like, I want to get rid of this tree, but on the other hand, I'll have to very quickly come back here and assign a new location. I'll just get them working over here. It's been suggested, by the way, uh, in the comments that I try and maintain trees to uh, sort of mimic the need for uh, vegetation to kind of hold the soil in place. For those of you that don't know, deforestation is a top cause for things like landslides. Uh, the deep roots of you know old trees helps keep the soil in place, and heavy deforestation around steep um, like steeper regions, uh, for example, like if you were to not have trees over here, you would probably start having landslides over here um, in in the real world. And so it's been suggested that I try and keep that in mind. Now I don't know our understanding of things like landslides in this era, actually. So feel free to educate me on that. But I thought it was an interesting consideration, at least from a modern lens. And I'll I'll adjust accordingly if uh, if y'all point out in the comments that it wouldn't be something that's considered back uh, back in this era. This is what 14th century Franconia is kind of the uh, the reference point. 
Oh man, look at this. Oh, I'm so excited for this town. I'm so excited for this town. And I just can't get over the scope, the scale. I mean, look at the distance from here to there. <laughs> it's just wild to me. It's just wild to me. I can't wait for that trading post to get done either, because that's gonna be that's gonna be extremely helpful for us. Just about done. One last timber is needed. I'll just pick it up from this well. <laughs> just grab it from here. <laughs> Thief it. Let's come together nicely. Yeah. Now there is a bit of a slope here, so the building has adjusted accordingly. Hopefully, I don't think this is too steep for us to build homes on. Let's check real quick over here. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Good. And we're collecting a decent bit of timber, it seems. All right, fair enough. A bit faster than I anticipate, honestly. I, I, I always feel like it's going to take a lot longer. Oh, you're going to go all the way there. Fair enough. Cleaning up the uh, remnants first. No fuel consumption yet. That's good. It's it's only May. It's only May. So we're okay. We're okay, that woodcutter's lodge will come soon. I won't prioritize after this trading post is done. That, that'll that solve a lot of our issues, actually. That'll solve a lot of our issues. Back to Edel's Ball. What do we need to do here? We've got this brewery under construction. Uh, population, we've got room for more people. So, that's good. Oh, right. Hang on a second. <laughs> our military operation here. The music cueing me in there. So it's 19 we sent in. Hopefully it'll be 19 we uh, bring back home. So far so good. We've whittled their 13 down to 16. We seem to be doing alright. Now again, if I had an additional militia unit or something, I could probably get this done that much faster because I could get a rear charge in, you know, break their morale and, and, and job well done, let's go home. But hey, job well done, uh, let's go home shortly. We of course don't want to leave the bandit camp uh, as is, we want to gather that wealth, and uh, and then we can get home. Good stuff, good stuff. And yeah, you know what? I'll I'll go ahead and put that money into the treasury, and that'll allow us to um, increase the size of that retinue just ever so slightly, slightly more. We can get five more people to reach our cap as it is at present. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I don't think we'll be able to afford it with the money we'll get from this bandit camp, but maybe between this one and the next one. All right, what's our situation over here? What's the deal? What is the deal? 99 days, so about 100 days. All right, fair enough. Uh, otherwise, how are we doing in terms of meeting people's needs here? By the way, I should point out, this marketplace does still have three free stall locations. I know I occasionally go here and it says zero, and it's like, hey, party, maybe, uh, maybe you actually need free stall locations. We've got them, don't worry. We've got three there, none here. Uh, and eventually we'll of course keep expanding the market over there. Well, we already have. It's got 70 free stall locations. So eventually people will hopefully establish market uh, stalls there. But for the time being, we have some spots here. Food variety is hopefully going to be all right. Once the meat starts coming through. Might just start importing it, honestly. Might just start importing it. But uh, fuel's looking good at least. Everyone is covered and then some. These empty homes have firewood as well, actually. Uh, and then clothing continues to be a problem. And it seems, see these guys, this tailor's shop, they have, um, they have cloaks and boots. But I guess they just want some linen, leather, or yarn. I gotta get that in place. But first, this belongs to my treasury now. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and bring boys back home. Keep an eye on them so we can disband them. Uh, otherwise, where was I? Completely distracted myself. Ah, trading post completed here. All right, folks, this is why I wanted this trading post built post-haste. We can actually send goods using trading posts. We do not have to rely solely on the uh, uh, pack station. Sorry, I keep thinking pack station. Yeah, pack station. Um, well, right now we're trying to send bread to get berries back and all that good stuff. Instead, we can simply use the trading post to say at Eisendorf, we would like to import at a cost. It will take from our regional wealth. I can say I would like to import bread. Um, and what I would do is I would say, well, hang on. let's see what the bread situation is like in Adel's Ball. We have some, not a lot. Funnily enough, we have more berries than we have bread. 
Do I wait for the next harvest season to do this? No, because I want to show how this works at the very least. So, at, uh, at Adel's Ball, I'm going to go ahead and say that we are willing to export bread, desired surplus 62. It's going to take us some time to hit that. We want food variety here. We're importing berries here. Meat, we have... Uh, we're actually quite low on food here right now. <laughs> vegetables, I suppose. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and export vegetables. And here we'll import vegetables. We'll say our desired surplus is um, 40. All right, so you'll see that Eisendorf will import vegetables at a cost of two per. Let's go ahead and get 10. And yes, it'll eat into our regional wealth. I want to be very careful about this because I want to make sure I use some of that regional wealth to establish some uh, you know, backyard extensions and stuff. But this should allow us to move some vegetables over from uh, Adelsball over to Eisendorf and provide for a bit of uh, food variety. If we take a look at the people, if we keep our eyes uh, on them, you'll see eventually they start shifting over, moving towards this trading post to drop the, uh, the, the food off. Uh, disconnected from major trade routes. Ah, let's go ahead and actually connect you. There you go. That should solve our problem there. Now, I don't need a family over here. If I assigned a family to this trading post, they would try and import the uh, the, the the vegetables from uh, not just uh, Adel's Ball, but also from outside. And uh, I don't want to do that. I want to move goods between these two regions. Uh, hopefully, what I can do eventually is also export the berries from this trading post uh, over to Adel's Ball, and that way we'll uh, you know we'll we'll generate some regional wealth over here. So uh, that's why I want to get the trading post up, because it's just another way to get goods over here beyond the pack station. Is there anything else I want to bring over from Adel's Ball, actually? Is there anything else? I mean, we can bring in some firewood. We don't have that much, would be told. Uh, do we planks right away? Not really. Sure, I think we're okay. But you'll see how now I can get wool and yarn and stuff over. I don't need to right now, but... Eventually, I can get some of that stuff over without needing like 20 pack stations, uh, one for each individual product. Anyway, folks, let's go ahead and solve the homelessness situation over here uh, by establishing a few burgage plots. I think it makes sense to... I like split this into quarters, I guess, right? So I got order over here. And rather than do something like this and result in this hideousness, uh, which actually I don't think will be quite hideous. I think it would look quite nice. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, do this in, 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 in less than quarters. And do something like that. I don't want massive backyard extensions, because I think with these guys I'll start with chicken coops, and then maybe we'll upgrade into, uh, into like, bakeries and smithies and all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and do a little bit further out there. Can I actually get second families in here? And I get... That's alright, it's kind of wider than I'd like. If I go out to there. This kind of a thing. And reduce by a little bit. Nah, it doesn't do the trick. Don't mind how it looks though. Alright, let's try this. Does that... Kind of work. I think I want more like that, roughly. Probably more like that, actually. And that's good, we actually get the, uh, the extra house possible there as well. Road would go straight down into whatever's next, like into the next rounds and whatnot. I guess what I could do... I guess what I could do is if I actually extend this down... decision made and I start the roads out. Let's go ahead and pause for a second here. Let's see how far this needs to go. Just about to these trees. Just between these trees actually. Okay, so if I get the road going from here, right, and I try to create a concentric circle. Let's see what we can do here. That is not Again, I can adjust the curvature, so maybe that'll help. Nah, that's not, that's not good. Got to find that sweet spot. That might be it. 
I do something like that. Right? And then I go ahead and put down the burgage plot. Watch, this is not enough space. I could get perfect. Yeah, at least it follows the curve, and I think I like that. I think I like that. Alright, let's go a little bit further out, though, so we can get that uh, additional expansion. Oh, that's, that, that's neat. Two and two. Only that's right, though. Alright, let's start the other way. All right, there we go. Cool, because I get the uh, the expansion that I want. It's just how I want it to be, so I'm I'm being a little obstinate. I apologize. That feels that feels close. Done. Committed. All right, took a second, but I like that. Let's go ahead and prioritize. Who do I prioritize here? We got the woodcutters lodge. Go ahead and focus on the housing first. One, two, three, four. So we'll still have one homeless family. Let's go ahead and make you high. Make you high as well, and make you high too. Uh, and sure, resume time. Cool. So excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Expand this unit, get them back home. Hang on, I wish I'd... Yeah, I, I just want to see what they get up to. Do they, like, are, they're just going around, they're like, hey, good game, good game, well done. Well done. I'm just saying their uh, farewells. Welcome back, man. <laughs> I love that you can do this. Like, look at this, these guys just, yeah. Chit-chatting after a good day of murdering bandits and brigands. I love it. Love to see it. It's so cool. Alright. Back to it. Entry is full. These guys are still not having their needs met. So funny. I'm wondering if I just kind of get like... Uh, Something you know, like linen or something going just to meet that uh, that need, or maybe this marketplace will open up some more clothing uh, clothing stalls. I have faith. I have faith that these guys at the large storehouse will open up uh, 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 a market stall or two and start selling some more yarn or leather or something. There's plenty of it. Plenty of it. Fingers crossed. Or maybe this family. Maybe I just need a second family working at the weaver's workshop. Actually. That might do the trick. Okay, who... Where are we overstaffed? Hmm. Maybe... Here. Let's take someone away from the large storehouse and put someone in the weaver workshop instead. Maybe that'll solve the problem. Otherwise, let's take a quick look at the trading post. Have we sent any goods down here just yet? Or have we not had the... Uh, perhaps not. Hmm. Have I built this trading post too far away? Have I built this trading post too far away? Because they do try to trade to the nearest location. What are you moving, buddy? Oh, we'll see how this plays out. You do have vegetables. I could speed time up a little bit and just see what goes down here. Man, you might have built this trading post too far away. Should have perhaps built it like right over here. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. And if we need to, we'll uh, we'll move the uh, the trading post over. These folks, they are coming through. Okay, they're at least bringing some stuff over. Not that we have that much bread. A little bit. None back at Adel's Ball. It's trading post. Ooh, are you uh, now going home? Dang. Get down a bit further. Again, primarily just building some houses right now, right? Yeah, I'm a little concerned that I've built this a little too far away. We're also not at a surplus right now, so... Uh, can't really experiment right now. Ah, man. I hope not. If we need to, we can move the trading post over. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. 
These plots are still being built. Okay, good stuff. Otherwise, how are we looking? Still a few days to go, I imagine, before we can harvest. Yep, and then we can start trading out some uh, some bread properly. I mean, yeah, sure, it needs to be processed and everything, but uh, we know the option is there. I mean, what I could do, actually, is I could put a supplementary trading post down uh, here after these uh, residences are made. I feel like, are we providing enough food? Two months' worth of food at a time? <laughs> as this forager's hut so far away, it takes time for it to be brought to the market to sell. But, I mean, hey, this is how we wanted to plan our city, and so uh, there's a price to pay for that. All right, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I'm more concerned about the clothing variety in this corner over here. Food variety is looking good. Food variety is looking pretty good, actually. One more harvest season, a few more eggs, and I think we'll be uh, off to the races. You know, get these chicken coops uh, working, get some of these guys operational as well. And I think we'll be in a good spot. So perhaps, what, this month, maybe, as more families move in? We'll see, we'll see. And yeah, very curious about if we get another market uh, market established. You're crafting. Where do you live? Yeah, you live here with the chicken coop. That's far away. That's a long way to go for for work. But I think everyone kind of has their uh, their assignments in this corner right now, if I'm not mistaken. Herder, weaver. Yeah, everyone's kind of like working in this area. So I could build some more houses here to facilitate. Uh, Shorter commutes, I suppose, as an option. Over here. And we haven't brought any uh, vegetables here yet. The regional wealth has remained untouched. Work area is empty. For who? Oh, it must be the logging camp. It must be the logging camp. Let's go ahead and work where? I mean, yeah, we are actually starting to wrap up most of the trees that I wanted to uh, clear out. Huh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, let's speed time up over here. Gotta get rid of these trees, I think. This logging camp working over here. Woodcutter's Lodge. No, I want to try and finish some of this construction first. We are making decent progress. New family moving in over here. Go ahead and establish another chicken coop. Let's go. And Edel's Ball has a new food stall now. Looks like this marketplace is filling up with more food stalls. All right, that's okay. Again, we have this massive marketplace here as well. See how that plays out. I don't know about putting markets next to the granary and stuff. Maybe. Chicken coop done over here. Excellent. And we're looking at another... Two months before harvest. Good stuff. Down over here, burgage plots are being completed. People will start moving in. Go ahead and expand the living space on this one. Let's go ahead and establish a chicken coop over... Looks like we spent... Some money. Alright. Hey, there you have it. There you have it. So it happened. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright. So... <laughs> That's helpful because I was getting a little nervous that this was too far away, but did you... Oh, I must have missed exactly when it happened. Is Are you coming back? Who's coming back from making that trade? But it must have happened because, see, this trading post doesn't have any families assigned. So, and, and it looks like the trade was done at that rate because if we take a look at food, vegetables, two per, we imported 10, 10 times two is 20. 50 minus 20 is 30. So it worked exactly as intended. I just missed exactly when it happened. Damn, that's my luck. But we know it's working. We know it's working. I'm getting a little nervous that maybe this was too far away. But no, no, no. I don't know. That worked out nicely. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Super pleased. Super pleased. All right. Three, four families can live here. We need housing for a fifth. Go ahead and... Well, I suppose we'd, we'd split this into quarters, right? There's no reason why we wouldn't split it into quarters. So that's one you know, roughly aligned, very roughly aligned. Um, get another like here, I think. I think that makes sense. Yep. Pop you down. Continue expanding you. Like so. 
Seems circular enough. Maybe like that. I like that it's also following this contour somewhat. Hang on. Like that, I think. Nah, that doesn't look right. I think that second point was a little off, actually. Probably something more like this. Sure. E yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a circle. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it that. Uh, stocks damage. That's the thing. We don't have somebody working at the storehouse, so no one's actually bringing some of these goods in. What are we losing here? We got some firewood. We got some stone. We don't got families. That's the problem. Now, if I get a family at the trading post, they should hopefully start trading. Or hopefully a family will go in from the granary to pick uh, pick the goods up as well. Looks like that's what this person might be doing. No, no, no. They might be delivering to the to the food stall, actually. Bread and berries looking good. Bread and berries looking good. Go ahead and build last remaining burgage plots. That's actually room for quite a few. I think we'll keep bringing vegetables in from our other uh, other town. Do I split you like this? Get something more interesting going than if we build these into into tailors and smiths and stuff. We'll have the extra families. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Plus one, two, three, four, five, and then we can upgrade these later. Sure. Yeah, sure. I like that. I'm, I'm, you know, so far so good. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Like the the overall aesthetic of this uh, town. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're looking to maintain how much vegetables? Ten. We're down to eight now. Are you? Where are you from? Yes. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, buddy here is going to pick up some carrots. We got 10 here right now. He's come through. Picking up some carrots. Picking up some carrots. Picking up some more carrots. And taking his cart over to... Here. We'll see. We'll see. I want to see... Uh... Oh, well, I want to see. I want to see the number go up. It's just nice to see this stuff in action, I think personally. In my humble opinion. You know what? We'll have this pinned up there, but let's get the logging camp changing its location of work. Actually, perhaps out over here. We gotta extend this way a little bit, right? So... Let's do that. Let's start clearing this area out. Alright. Close you. That's the granary. So we'll see... Transporting vegetables. It's, I mean, that's got to be what he's doing. Cool. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Excellent. All right. Now, the pack station continues to send out bread, right? Do we have much to give at Edel's Ball? Not much. Not much at all. Still about, what, a month and a half to go before our next harvest. That's all well and good. We'll adjust our families accordingly. How's the hunting camp doing? Not hunting very much, is it? Got a second family in there. Berries are being used up. It's only July. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. We are importing some as well, but again, the Dyer's um, workshop could use more berries. Go sell this yarn. <laughs> One more freestall location. See what comes of it. Let's see what comes of it. Yeah, more eggs making the rounds. We just get a family moving in here? We did. Even more eggs making the rounds? Or do we want more leather at this point? Now, you know what? Like I said, this is the breakfast area. We're going to have bread and eggs. <laughs> bread and eggs. And a couple extra houses. All right. Oh, there you go. Eisendorf now has some vegetables at its, uh, at its granary. Is there more coming through? I think so. No, this is, I think this is our friend who brought over the, uh, the vegetables. Cool. 
Excellent. All right. I'm just glad it's working. Production finished over here. That's the uh, the chicken coop. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Coming together nicely. Now, what's next for Adil's Ball? Well, I guess we want to get five more level three Burgage plots. Can we afford it? We've got the roof tiles for it. We've got the planks and everything. Yeah, I think we can, actually. I think we can. What would I build in the backyard of this one? How many, how many bows do I have? 69. Nice. <laughs> what are the chances? Um, get another tailor's workshop going. I mean... Don't... I'll be frank, I'm not sure. I feel like I need more of the lower tier goods to be sold. I feel like I do actually need more goat sheds to get more uh, hides. Or maybe I need more people working at the tannery to turn the hides we have into leather. Because we have a decent number of hides, but the leather production is just not uh, consuming it quickly enough. So maybe that's my issue. Granted, we have so many hides because we're hunting right now. But I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna put a goat shed uh, next to the marketplace because uh, uh, hides don't get sold at the market. Hides get trans like transformed into uh, leather. But again, that we want to have far away because a tannery tends to stink. Anyway, let's go ahead and upgrade to level three at the very least, and we'll upgrade you to level three as well. Make some progress. I want to get to those uh, those bakeries. Logging camp. You're not topped up. The saw pit. Yeah, that, that's to notify us of the saw pit. Even without a construction reserve, we're barely able to keep up with uh, with the acquisition of uh, of timber. All right. Almost everyone has homes now. Or one, two, three, four, five. Everyone has homes now. This is actually an extra. Forgot that I had an expansion. Last home to be built in Eisendorf. Room for for people to move in. Can't complain about that. Have to be careful though. Sustainable growth, right? We don't want everyone starving because too many people move in all at once. Granted, it can only be so many per month, but uh, let me assure you, I've made that mistake despite that limitation. This is great. Get your uh, brown picket fence up. Man, this is... Look at that. Oh, that's great. That's great. You got the market stall there. You've got like round shape over here. You've got that trading post. It's just so nice. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right. Eisendorf has become now a small village. Beautiful. Where do I spend this point? Well, charcoal burning, I think, and we can go ahead and maybe bring firewood, turn it into charcoal, and then send the charcoal back to Adel's Ball and help with the uh, fuel efficiency over there. We get the charcoal burning going, and then we get deep mining to get us to that infinite uh, iron that, that, that that's buried under Eisendorf. Yeah, okay, sure. Why, why hesitate? Why would I do literally anything else? Yeah, okay. Charcoal burning. Let's go. Good stuff. We gotta get, what? Two level two Burgage plots. So, gotta start fulfilling some of their needs, and we can uh, get up to level two. Water access is there. We'll get the church built soon. Fuel stall hopefully being built soon. Where is... Woodcutter's Lodge. Right, no one's assigned here. Five months of fuel, though. Well, I guess it's measuring the firewood we had... Uh, and considering the, uh, the number of houses now. Let's go ahead and get someone working at the Woodcutter's Lodge, though. We need to... Uh, well, we need to. <laughs> Nothing else to say about that. We need to get some of that firewood going. Get the stall set up. Fulfill fuel and food needs. Uh, clothing. We got So food variety will hopefully be taken care of. Because we've got vegetables. We've got berries, right? We are bringing those veggies in. Um, this food stall is selling a bit of everything. So that's great. We should be... 60% food variety. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You just take walk. It's not that far away. You can see it from out your window. 
Don't worry, they'll 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 go and get some. It's just I think supply might be a little bit on the lower side here. Yeah, we got plenty of berries, but very little vegetables, very little bread. So it makes sense that it won't actually make uh it's they won't all make their way all the way around. There you go. It's a matter of time though. I think more just got delivered at the food stall. Up to 80%. Good stuff. Fuel, clothing, church. We'll get there, we'll get there. Let's get some chicken coops going, I guess. Because we can always uh, build them up afterwards into whatever else I want. You can always demolish and build them up. For so sure. Let's get a chicken coop over here. It will stifle our ability to import. And that's my one hesitation, I guess. But we'll have eggs in place of vegetables. And soon, again, we'll, we'll get iron and stuff so we can export that to make our wealth. Yeah, sure. Let's go here with the chicken coop. I'm thinking. Sure. Decision made. Right next to the uh, the marketplace. So they'll, they'll collect their eggs, they'll go to the market and sell and distribute good stuff. Not much money left there though, unfortunately. We'll have to get into our uh, iron and our exports sooner rather than later. Shrubs. I think this is firewood potentially that we can get. Let's do that. Oh. Alright. Adel's ball continues to grow. We have 52 families, 54 living spaces, so we have a bit more for one more month. Looking good though, and one more month is how long we have to wait before we can harvest. Really excited to see all this stuff kind of operational. We're going to keep it seasonal, obviously. We're not going to just keep people at the windmill when there's nothing to mill. That would be foolish, but uh, it'll be nice to see. Um, it'll be nice to see uh, everything kind of uh, spin up again. Not entirely intended with the windmill. So yeah, you'll see with the clothing, these guys, because these guys have leather, their needs are being met. And I think these guys, the tailor shop, ironically, doesn't have leather. We'll, we'll get that solved. We'll get that solved. Food variety is looking great, though. Look at that. Look at that. Food variety is looking... Uh, let's not look there. Food variety is looking fantastic. Beautiful. Well, let's go ahead and get another person working at the tannery. Or another family, I should say. Let's let's get that leather throughput looking a bit better. We are importing, if I'm not mistaken, hides, right? Again, I could just import the leather, sure, but... I want to I wanna actually have our people work. Just because we are wealthy, I do not want them to grow lazy and complacent. Look at that. <laughs> Still blows my mind. Alright, how's the well, by the way? Yeah, the well has been built. Chicken coop over here. It is done being built, looks like. Yep. And uh, you'll see we can, in fact, get rid of it if we want to. So that in the future, if we want this to be a smithy or something instead, we absolutely can. Oh, looks like we are seeing a firewood stall be built up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That'll help distribute the uh, the firewood. Right now we have not too much. Should I send firewood out, actually? Might not be a terrible idea. How much do we have here? 62. We're covered? Mostly covered. 94%. Let's try. Let's try... Did we? And if we bring the... Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Just look, you could look at that, man. Um, if we if we bring firewood here, we can turn it to charcoal and send it back, I suppose. But we have to actually build the uh, charcoal pit for that, uh, which I believe is under not residential industry, I suppose. Not industry. Where are you, buddy? There we go. Charcoal kill. Converts one firewood into two charcoal, making refueling twice as efficient. Probably put it next to, like, like in this general area, I imagine we're going to have a lot of the industry stuff, right? Not a terrible idea to get this down. We only have the one spare family, though, which is why I'm hesitant. It's like, am I in a rush until we actually grow a little bit? We have room for growth. We have room to uh, expand these houses as well and all that good stuff, but... Um, I think I need to hold off on, on, on building too much here. Let's go ahead and start importing firewood for the time being. So trade, um, materials, firewood, import. Oh, <laughs> no, we're not going to import it at 11 a pop. So first, up to this trading post. 
uh, firewood export. So here it'll be that surplus down. Let's say the 50. Hopefully that's enough. We'll see. And there. Now we'll import. Get it to 10. And again, we're supplying it locally as well, but that should uh, that should do the trick. That should do the trick for now. Alright, beauty. We'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. And I really do hope we're prioritizing trade with uh, with Eisendorf as opposed to anywhere else. Meanwhile, over here we have our tier 3s all being built up. Look at that. Look at that. How great is that? You know, I need to actually... Is this... Yeah, this is a separate plot. This needs to be upgraded to level... I mean, 2 to begin with. This this has got to get up to level 3. You're, he's, he's ruining the, uh, the vibe of this street right now. Get you up to level 2. We'll get you up to level 3. And then we'll have more families attending you know, to the orchards and stuff. Same thing over here, actually. We should probably get you up to level three with the, the vegetable uh, gardens. Let's, let's get these guys upgrading. Good stuff. And how are we looking in terms of harvest? 22 days. 22 days. But look at that. We got plenty of vegetables, berries, eggs. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. These guys would just put a house down. Whoops. Large storehouse. Yeah, these guys also not putting a marketplace down. We got this spot, but maybe it's just too far away for them to establish anything. Or maybe... Maybe there's just not... Maybe the demand hasn't reached a certain threshold where it triggers... Hey, I should, I should build a stall and make... Buko... Boku bucks. She was just sitting there. Might as well start exporting. 200, 276 shoes. <laughs> what are you doing to me? You know what? Actually, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Here. The pack station. Let's send shoes. We're going to send shoes. And then Eisendorf can export those shoes to make itself rich. Because shoes sell for how much? Again, we're the lord of both of these regions. You know, we want to, we want to uplift both. How much do shoes sell for? Um, shoes, where you at? Commodities. God damn it, we need to build a route. <laughs> Should have known. That's unaffordable right now. Oh, that would have been that would have been real clever though. Back station, you know, back to sending. What else could I send? What else could I send that they could export? You know. I'll think more on it. Fuel is not looking too hot. Fuel is not looking too hot. Let's go ahead and assign... Get to work. Let's go. Not loving that. Like, winter's not right around the corner or anything, but... Uh, that bright red does make me nervous. The supplies here are almost taken care of. Once we get a family at the storehouse, it'll be all done. That's good. Working away. How many berries you got? You got two berries? 18, so 14 at the granary, and then some perhaps at the food stall, I'm guessing. Yeah. Eggs are coming through as well. Beauty. Food variety is looking good. Yeah, all right, good stuff. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. They're living richer than some people at Adult's Ball. That's okay. It's, uh... That's okay. Food variety is looking fantastic, though. Yeah, even some of these red spots are being cleared up over here now, so that's good. Yeah, you'll see even down over here, those guys have cloaks, they have shoes, they just don't have simple leather or yarn. Either of those would do. But no one wants to sell it to them. No one wants to sell it to them. I wonder if I pulled the trigger on this Taylor's Workshop too early or something. Maybe it's because two families live here. They keep chipping away. 
We'll see. You're almost done to level two. You're almost done to level two. Yeah, still need a few more uh, timber. Oh man, coming back to here is wild. I remember that shot from like, what, six episodes ago now. I was looking down this way as a lone person walked up that uh, road. Now it's so much more. I mean, we come back over uh, over here. I mean, look at this. It's completely different. <laughs> it's completely different. And of course, you know, this gives us a wonderful overview of how far we've come at Adel's Ball. And this, I mean, there's no stopping us, folks. There's no stopping us. But there is a stopping this particular episode because we've hit that hour mark and uh, that's around where I like to keep it. If you've been enjoying this series, folks, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving those likes and comments down below. I'm enjoying this expansion a lot. I'm really excited for the challenges it'll bring us. Hope you are too. If you have any suggestions, thoughts, opinions, whatever it might be, leave them in the comments down below. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing if you like Manor Lords and other, you know, similar city building, strategic games and all that good stuff. Otherwise though, folks, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. They'll keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.